You have no idea how great this feels to be back here at work in the people's house. As you can imagine, these last three and a half months have been pretty challenging times for me and my family. Uh, but if you look at the outpouring of love, of warmth, of prayer, uh, my gosh, Jennifer and I have been overwhelmed with all of that outpouring. And it's given us the strength to get through all of this and to get to this point today. And it starts with God. When I was laying out on that ball field, the first thing I did once I was down and I couldn't move anymore is I just started to pray. And, and I will tell you, it gave me an unbelievable sense of calm, knowing that at that point it was in God's hands. But I prayed for very specific things. And I will tell you, uh, pretty much every one of those prayers was answered. And, and they were some pretty challenging prayers I was putting in God's hands. But... Uh, he, he really did deliver for me and my family, and it just gives you that renewed faith in understanding that uh, the power of prayer is something that you just cannot underestimate. The first place I want to go to, to thank true angels along the way starts with the United States Capitol Police. I, I want to specifically mention Crystal Griner and David Bailey. Crystal and David were assigned to my security detail that morning. And day in and day out, they're, they're part of our family. Jennifer and I truly do treat them as part of our family because they're with us everywhere we go. And on that day, it was no different. On June 14th, they came 6.30 in the morning. We arrived at the baseball field just to play and practice for a game of charity baseball. And uh, nobody would have suspected what ensued. And yet, as soon as those shots were fired, I'll tell you, when I was laying on the ground, one of the things I prayed for is that David and Crystal would be successful in carrying out their duties. And both David and Crystal are incredibly well-trained, incredibly professional. But when I was laying there, not long after the first couple of shots were fired, I could hear a different caliber of weapon. And that told me that they had immediately engaged the shooter. And let me tell you, if they didn't act so quickly, and even after being shot both themselves, continued to engage the shooter and ultimately got him down, which not only saved my life, but saved the life of a lot of other people that are here in this chamber today. David Bailey is with us. David, you are my hero. You saved my life. Thank you so much. I also thank those thanks to a lot of the people that were on the field with me. Uh, right after the shooter was down, a lot of my colleagues came and ran to come check on me. And one I want to mention in particular is one of those things that Jennifer and I call the, the little miracles that happened that day and throughout the next few months of our recovery. Happened to have Brad Wenstrup on the field that day, and he was one of the first to come to my side. And as you know, Brad's not only a doctor, but he's a decorated Army Ranger who served in combat, and one of his roles and missions was to take care of people that were wounded before they went off on the helicopter to go get prepared. Uh, who would have thought that God would have put Brad out there on that field with me because the tourniquet he applied, many will tell you, saved my life so that I could actually make it to the hospital in time with all the blood loss. So, Brad, where are you at? Right down front, right down front. Above all else... I want to thank my lovely wife, Jennifer. Something else I saw firsthand wasn't a surprise to me, but it was the outpouring of love from you, my colleagues, both Republican and Democrat. Uh, I know right after the shooting, we were practicing on the Republican side and the Democrats were practicing too. And my colleague and friend and sometimes arch rival in baseball from back home in New Orleans, Unfortunately, the star of the game too many times. <laughs> Cedric Richmond somehow figured out which hospital I was sent to and uh, got there, probably the first person there on the scene in his baseball uniform to check on me. Uh, so many others of you, again, both Republican and Democrat, reached out in ways that I can't express the gratitude and how much it means to me, Jennifer, and our whole family. Uh, it really does show the warm side of Congress that very few people get to see. 
And so I want to thank each and every one of you for that. You don't know how much it meant to me. And when I come back into this chamber here today, it, it just seeing the faces of all of you, uh, it, it just means more to me than you can imagine. So thanks for all of that love and support. A lot of people ask, did this event change you? And I think those of you who know me know I'm, a, I'm an optimistic person. I'm you know, just a fun-loving person. I'm from South Louisiana, and we believe you work hard and you play hard, and joie de vie. Uh, is an event like this going to really change that? And, and the first thing I can tell you is, yes, it changed me, but not in the ways you might think. Uh, it's, it's only strengthened my faith in God, and it's really crystallized what, what shows up as the goodness in people. I got to see that goodness in people. And so while some people might focus on uh, a tragic event and an evil act, uh, to me, all I remember are the thousands of acts of kindness and love and warmth that came out of this 